Hello, everyone, and welcome to iReady, bringing you your daily dose of the internet for Tuesday, May 16th, 2017. I am Michael Schwann. And I'm Nathan Wood. Please remember, everyone, you can help support our show by going to patreon.com slash daily internet. Nathan, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good until, the, like, I was doing fine while I was inside, and then I went outside and there was a lot of sun and i enjoyed it a lot and now i'm really tired because there's a lot of sun and my body can handle only so much are you big fat cat uh pretty much i'm, I'm more like a lizard i just find a, a, a heat rock and i just lie on it you're like yeah fucking fucking mm, give me that oh god yeah that's good though that's good it means you're enjoying summer right uh yeah yeah it's pretty great um so nathan I, I have this. Don't get eliminated! Why? Why didn't you share that at the end? Well, because I wanted to share it now. I don't care. It was so perfect. We could have done it at the end. We can also do it again at the end. I have it on a button well, now. We're, we're going to do it at the end, but we could have revealed that we had it. At Wait, the see? End. Don't get eliminated! That's the worst. Why? Because we could have revealed it at the end when it was like at the moment, it would have been Don't great. Get <laughs> uh, I also have this now. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> <laughs> you love it. The worst. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Sound bites. Slowly filling up the board. Slowly. The board. You make be me sad. What? I'm sorry. The board be assimilated. Sure. Oh, so anyway, Jennifer messaged me earlier, and she was like, "So you know, just a heads up. Be careful with how you use uh, punctuation in your episode titles, because I named the last episode "Waste the Cops Time 2017 Hashtag Cannabis." Right. But, but when it when she pulled it up on her car, it literally it said, waste the cops. Yep, it just said waste the cops, and she's like, hey, "What? Wait, what are you advocating for here?" <laughs> Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. <laughs> so yeah, that was a a note for later. Today's episode is his named right to share. Big thanks to number one and our state sitting president because he's fucking tarted. Shut up. It's spoilers, guys. <laughs> uh, are you ready to get started? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't give a shit. Ah, oh, damn it. I need I need that one. I need the I don't give a shit button. Anyway. Ted. Moon Jae-in, South Korea's new president, is shutting down 10 big coal power plants in his first week in office. This is submitted by P. Newell to Our World News. So, I mean, the, Seoul, South Korea, one of the, one of the richer cities in the world, is having. Is a it Seoul or is it Seoul? Whatever, I don't know, man, and I don't care. It's Seoul. I'm stupid American, and I like to use that excuse way too much. But Seoul ain't got no love, ain't got no soul. Well, Seoul doesn't have any clean air because it's oh. all full of fucking coal. So it's like it's like Bangkok or no, not Bangkok. Is it Bangkok? No, it's like Hong Kong, right? Yeah, China, yes. <laughs> hey, Bangkok is in Thailand. Whatever. It's Tha actually the capital of Thailand. Thailand used to be owned by China. So? A <laughs> lot of things used to be owned by China. <laughs> yeah, China probably Was it what, didn't we talk about a couple months ago how what was it was it Taiwan that that China and America were arguing over, and Taiwan was like, fuck you both. We're our own country. I don't think we were talking about that. What, were we not? No. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know anything then. Either way. Seoul well, I mean, I guess you know something. <laughs> I know that I don't know anything. Is that what Dude, I'm... that's a sound bite. What? You know nothing, Jon Snow? I've never actually heard that. that... Yeah, because you're fucking awful. It's sitting right there. It's season one. It's right over there by your fucking your your TV. Just pop it in. It it actually is. He's not wrong. It, it, it's it's right it's right there. Right beside that television. I know it's television. it's right there. It's been sitting there for months. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> Wait, I know he's not in the chat right now because he's never in the chat because he's too busy sleeping because he's a bitch. But do we know if Adam Weinberg has seen any of uh, Game of Thrones? I don't think he has. Okay. Do we Just know if sit he's... his bitch ass down. Do we know if he's interested in seeing Game of Thrones? 
I don't think he cares because he likes American Gods and um, Vikings enough to to not care about watching other shows. Sure. So I mean, because like, I, I so I sat him down and had him watch all of Rick and Morty over the the last week or so, right? That's different. That's like gospel. Yeah. Well, and then I also sat after Rick and Morty was done. I put on Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. Sure, that one's pretty good. Yep, and it, it, it proceeded to watch his facial re- uh, expressions. Same with Jennifer. I showed Jennifer like one episode a couple of like oh like four years ago now, and but because me and Adam were watching it, she sat down to watch it. She was like, you know, this is the cutest, most disturbing, sexual, non-sexual show ever. Like this is like rated really hard R rated Powerpuff Girls, and we're like, yeah, yeah, it is. It, it's oh, no, that's amazing. that's pretty spot on. It is pretty R rated Powerpuff. Puff girls. Anyway, back on the news topic. So, right into his first week in office within the first five weeks, he wants to see within the next year, new South Korean president wants to have 10 coal power plants shut down in his country because they're having a horrible problem with air pollution. Now, the, originally they were trying to blame this that, all oh, the pollution's blowing over from China. And they're like, but we also have like 53 of our own coal power plants, so it's our fault too. They're, uh, they're helping solve the problem. Well, and the, what, <laughs> the, well, kind of like on the surface, you're like, oh, good on you, man. But here's the thing. Currently, I mean, they reduced the amount of nuclear power uh, contribution from 40% to 30% over the last 10 years. So nuclear is being less of their power, but they had to make up for this in which they increased the amount of coal production that they had. Coal is dirty and nasty and gross. And of their power, only 8% of it comes from clean energy things such as solar and wind. And he wants to shut down these 10 power plants, but they also already have 20 more that are supposed to be built in the next five years. Okay, so let's not have those 20 more start. Well, they, he hasn't said anything about those yet is the thing. Well, all right. I have faith that he'll get there. It, Either it, way. It's 10 steps I mean, forward, 20 steps back. Do you think, do you think it'll stop their... Um, the the amount of power that they're allowed to use, I don't know. I mean, because like, do you think do you think there'll be less of them on video games? No, no, no. Those are <sighs> damn it. They kick they kick my ass too much though. Well, that's your problem. And a lot of North America. Yeah, but I mean, Amer- North America isn't like the country itself is not in a spot where it's like we need to be the best at esports. The country of North America. What. <laughs> I see what I said there. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I mean, Canada is like our our cozy neighbor, and we try to take over Mexico every now and again. They're strange bedfellows. <laughs> That's not the way I would describe it. Justin Trudeau's real attractive dude, though. But whatever. Mm-hmm. But so I mean, they. If they do, if I mean, it'd be great if he took a stance where he did want to go towards greener energy, but just be like, I'm going to close down 10 plants and and then I'm going to build 20 more. And then those 10 plants, though, those are going to, they're going to go away. Those 20 more are going to be amazing. But realistically, it's like he's only making 10 more. Sort of, and also new plants have, like, if you are building it from the ground up, a brand new coal plant, there's things that you can build, implement, and install with the building process to make them cleaner. Exactly. But, really, we should just get the fuck away from coal. In in due time. It takes babby steps, dude. But I I know we have to to take giant steps, but babby steps. Well, the the concern is that current science suggests that by 2060, an estimated 9 million people a year will die of air pollution under the current projections. I'd believe it. And that's a lot. Yeah. I'm real glad it, that's not no, it's, here. It's good, though, because, like, we can, we, we can repurpose those, those dead people uh, into Soylent Green. Into food? Yeah. I see what you're going for there. I see what you're Feed going for. Feed the homeless to the hungry. No, that's not a good plan. No. Why? An Air Force Academy cadet created a bullet-stopping goo to use for body armor. This was submitted by Mavia to our Futurology. Whoa. So, have you ever played with Ooblek, Nathan? Yep. So I, I'm a, I, was a, I was a fucking preschool teacher. Of course I've played with it. 
I, I mean, I th thought I'd double check. So, for, oobleck is the the substance. If you put cornstarch in water and mix it up, and it becomes a, it's kind of like really wet play doh, but it it's like a liquid. But if you push on it, it becomes solid. And so they took this idea of like, okay, oobleck. The more force you apply to it, the more the more solid and more resistance it becomes. And they made body armor with it. Now they haven't said exactly how they make it. Just that it functions in that exact same way of it's kind of like this kind of like jello -y, goo like material. And then when it gets shot, it gets harder and harder and harder based on the force of the bullet instantly because of the way the atoms compress and then it'll stop a bullet. So it's force resistant, not force absorbing. Yes. So it will still hurt like a motherfucker. Yes. But you won't die. Theoretically, unless you create some pretty bad trauma to your organs. Yep, and here's the interesting thing about it, though. It, It'll just drastically reduce your chance of dying. Well, and here's the thing, is that the larger the bullet, the better it is at slowing them down. Really? Yep. So, like, so you could theoretically maybe survive being shot by a 50 caliber? I don't, they haven't tried that one yet, but. That's kind of, yeah, it's kind of fucking huge. Like, I, I, I have a feeling that one. Can we go work. even bigger? Can we shoot it with a ballista? Well, um, well, with as fast as those go. So the, the thing is, is that so smaller, slower traveling bullets are able to pierce through it better. So for instance. So it's like water. Yeah, a lot like water. Like they shot a nine millimeter round at it, a, a, a forty, and then a forty-four magnum. And the forty-four magnum was almost just dead stopped because it's such a big bullet. Whereas the nine millimeter got through um, on on the all of the layers, but got caught by the Kevlar backing that it was put into. The all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little specific. I want to see if it can stop. Approximately the launch of a 90 kilogram stone projectile over 300 meters. Trebuchet? Yeah. Trebuchet memes? Is that what's happening right now? It's going to be. So, I mean, what it looks like, and they got to perfect it because, I mean, they got to figure out how they want to put it in the armor and how light and how thin they could make it. Because right now, the problem is, is that they're looking to put in this in body armor because it's very effective it, in smaller rounds for soft armor. But the problem is, is that weight, like right now, Marines already walk into battle with 117 pounds of gear on them. Uh, regular soldiers walk in with 119 pounds. I doubt they really walk into battle. They probably run into battle. Uh, sure. I don't know. Got to get that fucking swag going on. It's a lot of, a lot of weight. Uh, who, who was it? I saw it on Reddit friggin. Who was one, the, the, the goddamn tentacle uh, tentacle uh the, on his shoulders that went to go arrest the emperor with mace windu what's his name uh shakti no maybe that didn't sound right uh who's with mace windu because yeah he, he brought two other jedis with him damn it uh. um Either way, if you watch that scene, he's got a serious friggin' like swag walk going on. Kit Fisto? Yeah, that one. Kit okay. Fisto. Because he... Agen, Kolar, Sacy, Tian, and Kit Fisto were all there. Yeah, Kit Fisto seriously got this like. Dude, I'm a fucking I'm a fucking cholo walk going on as they're going to arrest the Senate. Okay, quick. What what's his species name? I have no fucking idea. He is a Nautilon. Okay, cool. From his home world is Glee Anselm. And where did he die? Uh, in, name the name the planet. I don't fucking know. It's Coruscant, dude. Oh sure. Fuck. I'm bad at this. Okay. Yeah, That's why Jennifer is at a trivia night right now, and I'm here talking to you. I like how they they name shit in in um, Star Wars. They're just like let's fucking throw some syllables together and call it good. Herpeta. That sounds good. Put that one in there. I really like my my uh, character's name in in um in my Star Wars campaign that I, I'm playing in. That's good. That's good. Eight.
Oh. <laughs> Never mind then. Chinese no mother. One, no one cares. Well, also, like, let's get to new stuff because we've we we have already went on tangents the last two topics, and we've only done two. Hey, Star Wars is very Air Force related. <laughs> is that so? Yeah. Uh, anyway, Chinese mother who refused to give up disabled son nurtures him all the way to Harvard. I read that as neuter. Um, <laughs> this is submitted by intra intransit intransitive verb to our uplifting noobs. So noobs, <laughs> noobs. Uh, he had birthing problems. And he, I mean, she had birthing problems that led to problems for the child when he was born. He ended up developing cerebral palsy, and then she they they were like, we we should just put this kid down because it's it's fucking China, <laughs> and uh, she said no. Divorced her husband, went and got like three jobs on her own, helped the kid overcome his cerebral palsy, and also built his brain up because they're worried that the kid would receive brain damage. And he has been accepted in Harvard at the age of twenty nine. That's pretty cool. That's overcoming a lot of, uh, uh, the, the dice rolled real bad for you. Don't even start this tangent now. Like, I mean, you, you freaking plugged in like a six on strength, a three on constitution. Whoa. Okay, so me and Matt were looking up, um, con rules for second edition. Oh, God. Matt can hold his breath. For approximately like three minutes, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Maximum, and that constitutes him to have a con score of four in second edition. Yep, that sounds about right. It's fucking gross because people on average are supposed to have what an eight or a ten. Uh, I mean the average numbers for players are tens, but most like actual common citizens are more along the lines of like eight. Yeah, even then a four. You should be holding your breath for six minutes by that logic. Well, I mean, let's not, you know, get too convoluted into the things that... Like, that's also why their profession in D&D &D is I am an adventurer because I am fucking special and you aren't. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I Sometimes am... I'm literally chosen by a deity. So yeah, exactly. Seven. Dave Chappelle apologizes for telling viewers to give Donald Trump a chance. Quote, I fucked up. This is submitted by Nibble on this to our Trump grit. So. Sounds like a Dave Chappelle thing. I fucked up. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to say he fucked up, but he says he fucked up. He, because, he, I mean, he hosted Saturday Night Live on November 12th, you know, right after Donald Trump got elected. He's like, you know, this guy is our president you know we should just give him a chance i'm gonna give him a chance because well but you don't got a fucking choice otherwise and now he's like he's kind of taking that back he's like no this this dude's a fucking fuck i don't i i should never have given him a chance this guy sucks well i mean did he did he say it like that uh what was his exact words it was something fucking damn there's the quote it was i was the first guy on tv to say give trump a chance i fucked up sorry there you go. You sounded just like him. him. Just like him. I don't think so. Okay, probably not. Either way, though, but, I mean, Dave, Ch like, Dave Chappelle, well, uh, uh, congratulations. Like, I mean, did, did, did you vote for him? I don't know. You know what picture you should throw up of Dave Chappelle? What's that? Is it the picture called Zoe Dave Chappelle. Okay. Zoe Dave... Chappelle. Oh God, I don't want this on the Scott. No. But it's Zoe De Chanel. But it's Dave Chappelle. That's Nathan. It's perfect for this. Why is it perfect? Because it's Dave Chappelle. But what does that have to do with Zoe De Chanel? No. Like I don't. I don't understand what the the relevance of it is. I. I don't either. Okay. Why'd you bring it up? You, excuse me. God damn. You want to you want to run that one by me again? Yeah, you brought it up. I didn't. I, I I'll kill you. You just didn't question anything. Well, congratulations. You're now that horrible, ugly atrocity. I feel like Zoe Dave Chappelle is a very attractive individual. 
Uh, Kendall in the chat room says it's cool that he was able to recognize himself being incorrect. Many people have a hard time admitting they were wrong. Well, see, the thing is, is like if, if you get an argument with someone and then later admit, oh yeah, I was wrong, that's one thing. But I mean, the, if Trump's president. This isn't like a can. Can I take it back? I'm sorry. I'm real sorry. Did I? I bruh. I'm glad you're sorry, but we still have to deal with it. There's repercussions. Like, and, and that's the thing is like, I, I, I know people that have Trump grit and it's like, that's nice. But like, I, you didn't, but like, it, it's one of those things. It happens a lot with people in like companies and stuff of, they won't do anything until something forces them to, right? It's like, right. oh, we want, we don't want to fix this. It costs too much. We don't want to fix this it costs too much. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Well, a dude just fell in it and died. Oh, well now we'll fix it. Because something bad happened. And, like, I know a whole bunch of people that are like, it, it, that you know, there was the discussion over the politics about Trump and Clinton, Trump, Clinton. And they're like, no, Trump, this, Trump, 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 it'll be okay. Trump, 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 Trump. And then, like, it is, and everything that has been happening is things that people had warned them about that would happen. And now that they happen, they're like, oh, damn, I guess you guys are right. Fuck, I'm sorry. It's like, that doesn't, okay. People uh, spend money on the wrong things, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, it, it, it just feels so meaningless. It's like, oh, I regret this. That's fucking nice. I guess. I mean, it's it's cool, though. You know, th th thank you for recognizing you were incorrect. Well, here's the thing that I'll say about it. Hopefully, the people that are realizing this will be a bit more cautious of what they do in the future. Yeah, definitely. Like, may, it, it, maybe it can just be a learning experience for millions of people. Hopefully. Hopefully, everyone can learn from this. Six. Thailand, speaking of, threatens to sue Facebook over videos emerging of King and Crop Top wandering in German shopping center. This is submitted by Shrine to R Not The Onion. Yep. So, uh, first off, uh, if Streisand Effect level, you know, four, if you don't want something to spread, don't make a bunch of hullabaloo about trying to not get it to spread. Damn. This is some, like, this is some panda shit right here. But he is wearing... Raindrop. Crop top. It's a pretty shitty picture, but I'll throw it over Nathan's face anyway. Uh, do it. I want to be the king of Thailand. Well, I mean, honestly, like, so looking at this, it's a pretty silly-ass crop top, right? Sure. Or right, do you have it pulled up? Yeah, I'm uh, looking at okay. it. Okay, like, it's a pretty silly-ass-looking fucking crop top, but at the same time, he's kind of a fucking badass-looking dude, so I wouldn't exactly want to fuck with him. I mean, I'm not going to step to him. I mean, he's. I wouldn't step to a dude wearing a crop top normally. If they're walking around with a crop top on, they're brave enough to do that. Well, and here's the thing: is like it wasn't like a one-time thing. There are other pictures of him like at the royal airport, also in crop tops. Like he just likes to wear them, but apparently because that's taboo for dudes, he wants it taken down off of the internet. Hmm. Which I mean, he's trying to sporting fake tattoos. Apparently. Oh, is it? Yeah. Whatever. I mean, it's, here's the thing, though. Like, we can criticize. Like, I, I have no criticism for this guy, actually. If you like, I mean, tattoos are a scary thing because of how permanent they are. Fake ones, go for it. If you want to wear a crop top, I don't give a shit, and I don't care if you're king either. Like, I, I mean, uh, please, Trump, don't wear a crop top. But I mean, if he did, I wouldn't necessarily care because I'd rather him just stop being a tool. But that's an entirely different discussion that's very heavily related to this. But this dude's only been king for less than a year. He was a pampered, rich-ass motherfucker that was the crown prince for 63 years. And then someone's like, oh, your dad died. You're king now. And he's like, fuck. Um, I hadn't thought that my father was ever going to die. Well, shit, I guess I'm king now. Well, since you're king and, and not... you know what? Kendall brought up a good point. What's that? He's from Thailand, right? Yeah. Thailand's a very hot and humid place. It is. His tummy gets too hot. Or just him in general. Like. But Kirsten, all right, so Kirsten's like emperor's new clothes, but he's a king, not an emperor. He's also not naked. But it's 
his new clothes, you know? Sure. And there's other pictures of him in crop tops. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know. It just seems odd to me, the whole situation. But he's threatening to sue Facebook if they don't get every instance of the image removed from accessible sources in Thailand. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to save every picture of it I can. Well, he specifically wants it gone from Thailand. Now, not gonna, I, it's not going to happen. Um, so if Trump wearing a crop top would make him no longer be a shit, I'd be all for it. All right. I want to see Trump in a crop top now. Just so he's no longer a shit? Well, I mean, I, now I'm just kind of morbidly curious. Oh, God. I'm so, someone can fucking Photoshop it for you. That would be great. I'm not doing it. Come on. Nope. Five. Trump once demanded Edward Snowden's execution for giving serious information to Russia. This was submitted by John Farson to our politics. Not, not the onion. Are, are you okay? This hurts, dude. This entire thing hurts. It's fair. All right, you remember in 2016, we were like, holy shit, all of these celebrities die. So, like, we're going to make sure 2017 doesn't suck because 2016 sucks. <laughs> as soon as 2017 started. So back in 2013, when the Edward Snowden stuff went down, Donald Trump, being himself up on Twitter er early as shit in the morning, said, call it any way you like, but Snowden is a traitor. When our country was great, do you know what we did to traitors? How did Snowden, with not even a high school education, get access to top secret U.S. records? He then gave or sold those records. Traitor. Snowden, if you're such a hero, then come home and face justice. In reality, you are just another wise guy traitor. Why? Why is life a farce? Um, what is this strange? All right, so I'm of the belief that the end of the world did happen in 2012. If you look at every year since then, every every year since then has been completely fucking weird. Do you weird or just bad? Both. <laughs> this is like a weird like. Like, post-apocalyptic, but we don't know it yet because our brains haven't comprehended it. Our brains are slowly just dissolving and dying, and we're thinking that it's happening, but it's really not. I'll be sure to turn the brain analyzer off before it melts your brain. Actually, I think it turns off automatically when your brain is blue. I don't know. Don't know. Don't care. <laughs> pull me out. Guys? Guys, I said pull me out. <laughs> we're still uh. in the Shonies! We never left his show days! Alright, anyway. I can love Rick and Morty. Four. Playboy model Danny Mathers faces jail after secretly Snapchatting a photo of a naked woman at the gym. This is submitted by Abdullah to our news. You know what you don't do? Uh, Snapchat naked people at the gym? Yeah. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah, and also illegal. Um, it's very illegal. Especially because it had the quote of, if I can't unsee this, then neither can you. Oh my god. And it was of this. That's fucked up. And it was of a, like, a short, squatty, slightly overweight, like, 60-year-old woman who was in the shower. So fucked up. Yep. Um, so... She has been charged, and we, we talked, we didn't talk about this previously because I, it just didn't make it, I guess, but, I mean... It's coming back around. And so she originally had called to have her case uh, deferred, which meant that instead of having charges, she would have to, like, go to a class, a sensitivity training, stuff like that. Uh, the judge said, no, uh, we're not going with a deferred case because uh, you have not shown any remorse at all whatsoever. You don't feel it doesn't. Nothing shows that you feel sorry about what you did. So I don't feel like a class would do you any good. So instead, they tried to say that the law about sh photos of naked people is is too vague to be applied to their case. Yeah, and, and, and that the, the law was so vague that it was unconstitutional. And the judge what? went... What? Yeah, yeah, and the judge was Hold like... Hold up. Do I need to hit a, hit a button here? Hold the fucking phone. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? 
Ready! Um, the judge said, uh, fuck you. Uh, the, the law is quite constitutional, and you're going to go the fuck to jail. Is she in jail now? Is Not she... yet. I mean, the case is supposed to start in, I think, like a week, a week and a half. Um, that's when the trial will actually begin. Now, here's the other thing on this, though, first off, is that... So, I mean, she's already been being punished for this. I mean, she's lost out on a lot of her opportunities as a model and as a public figure. She's no longer allowed in any L.A. fitness gyms. She lost her radio deal. A lot of people don't want to work with her anymore. But here's the thing, right, is that L.A. prisons, like, L.A. is notorious for going easy on celebrities, mostly because... LA has so many problems and LA is LA's prisons are overflowing, right? Right. And the 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 well, max I feel like that's most prisons in America. Yeah. Well, the maximum punishment here is 6 months in jail and a $1000 fine. That's that's pretty much an afternoon for her. Like I'm pretty sure that it, even if she does get indicted, because of the term and the offense and the maximum penalty, she's going to go to jail for like a week, pay a thousand dollars, and then leave. It's fucked up. And dude. none of this will matter anymore. What was the other thing that got a ridiculously low amount of jail time? Oh, yeah, Brock Turner. Brock Turner. Yep. Yeah, that motherfucker fuck got a that. ridiculously fuck, low amount fuck of him. jail time. Just, just, you know, leave him dying behind a dumpster. I wonder how he's doing nowadays. Uh, he just got a friggin' sports deal. Sure. Yep. He's, he's doing just fine. Three. Asshole. More Americans support Trump's impeachment than oppose it for the first time. Oh, God, I can't see to click. I almost clicked out of that because it's fucking blinding light. Uh, oh, where was it? Uh, uh, submitted by Sauce Tri Saucy Tryhard to Our Politics. So, they've conducted a poll that says that people want to see Trump impeached. Uh, yeah. Well, this is actually the first time that uh, it's actually came up. Because otherwise, I, I mean, because as much as people that were un unhappy with him, people weren't actually saying, yes, we should impeach him. The most recent poll, and, and also keep in mind, this is a Democratic polling company. It's They're called Public Policy Polling. So... I don't. I mean, it doesn't say how many people were polled or how they were polled or anything like that. And it's not that hard to make polls say something that you want. So anyway, forty-eight percent supported him being impeached. Forty-one percent said no, and eleven percent did, did, did just did, didn't no. Eleven percent is like meh. Oh, fuck. See this? Those eleven percent. They need to. They need to make up their goddamn minds, man. So, yeah, not a whole lot to say past that besides some random poll says that Trump needs impeached, which, I mean, here's the thing. I don't like Trump. I do believe that I have made that very clear, but he's not technically done anything wrong yet. Like, the reason... He skirted the edge, kind of. Well, here's until, the thing. Until, he's allegedly done wrong things. Well, like, Nixon right? lied under oath. Clinton lied under oath. Like, we had legit legal reasons to remove them from office we have we don't have one with trump like he's not technically done anything wrong just because you don't like it doesn't mean that you can just take him out of office so we just got to keep watching his tapes until we figure out something he's lied about i mean maybe i don't know what the well and it's not even just that he if he lies i mean if he like looks at his shirt and is like oh i'm wearing a purple shirt and it's black I mean, right, that's not what I mean. It has to be under oath. It has to be during an actual, like, proceeding. Right. I understand. And that's only in that case. I mean, there's other ways that you could try to lead to impeachment, but he's just, he, he's a shitty president right now, but that's not a reason to remove them. I almost feel like it should be. Become a legislator and rewrite the laws. That is a lot of work. I really don't want to put into that. I'm I'm sorry. And I really can't find my way around that. Well, damn. Guess you don't care enough then. 
Yeah, I guess. Two. All 886 episodes of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood is currently being streamed consecutively on Twitch as a PBS fundraiser. All right, this was Nathan. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs> Bye, I got shit to do. This was submitted by the Copper1234 to our world news. The Coper? Um, I'll say Coper. Anyway. It's fucking light. PBS is being threatened with being shut down by the Trump administration as they currently receive a large amount of federal funding for, you know, their educational programming. Which and is, in reality, a small amount of federal funding compared to everything else. Oh, you're not wrong. Either way, so they're looking to do fundraiser stuff. One of the things they're doing is they have a Twitch going on. All of Mr. Rogers is being streamed for free, and if you would like to donate, then you are welcome to do so. Hell yeah, dude. It's it's like it's like an awesome PBS version of of awesome games done quick. Yeah, it's instead it's learn how to. Which, hang on, can we make Trump watch these and teach him to be a less shitty person? I don't know if he has the attention span. Isn't it like four minutes is his attention span? People can't sit there and talk for longer than four minutes, or he zones out. Well, I, I mean, but it's Mister Rogers' Neighborhood. It's geared towards children, so he should be able to like it should grasp him, right? I mean, I guess so. Does that logic check out? I, I think so. I hope so. Because uh, if so, we got it. That'll work. Let's do it. Just got to get him to watch Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. One. Okay. Trump defends right to share secrets. Submitted by Theodox to our world news. So... God damn it, Trump. Anyway, so Trump has, um... Uh, okay, so, yeah. Wait, wh what secrets? I thought he said he wasn't wasn't going to, um... Or that he didn't didn't have secrets or something. That, that they didn't share them with Russia? Well, see, that's what yeah. the White House came out and said. And then it was a couple days or, like, literally hour. I don't remember the exact time frame. Like the hours. White House came and came out and said he we he didn't share any secrets, and then a couple hours later he, he was tweeting like I can share what I want with who I want because I'm the president. Literally the Nixon excuse of it's not illegal when the president does it, which is 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 actually true. I mean because the the president does have a pretty broad authority to share secrets of the United States at his own discretion. Whether he should be allowed to do so or not is another thing. But so, I mean, now the White House is having to kind of like backpedal and figure out how they want to actually tackle this in terms of a press position. But then Trump came out and said it's his right as the president to share facts. Did you uh, did you see this thing, though, about um, about Trump asking Comey to drop the Flynn inquiry? Uh, I, I no. Okay, so uh, alle uh, allegedly, I'm saying allegedly because, you know, I, I can't quite tell you that it that happened or not. But uh, Mr. Comey, after an event where he had to talk to Donald Trump about um, Michael Flynn, um, he had written down an exchange that he had had with Mr. Trump. And uh, apparently it went, I quote, I hope you can let this go, Mr. Trump reportedly told Mr. Comey after a White House meeting in February. Uh, that's such a matter of semantics, semantics and context, so I mean, maybe, but I don't know. Quote, I hope you can see your way clear to letting this go, to letting Flynn go, end quote, the president told Mr. Comey, according to the memo. Quote, he is a good guy, end quote. Except that was proven wrong. Mr. Comey did not respond to his request, according to the memo, but replied, quote, I agree he is a good guy, end quote. <sighs> I got nothing, man. I got fucking nothing. I, yeah, no, I've got nothing. This is an entire shit bag of shit in the giant history of, of America. Well, and see, the thing is, technically he's not done anything wrong yet. Yet. Not technically, not legally, not by the law. It's just shitty, shady. No, things. it's just not that we, not that we know of. Yeah, a hundred percent. Not yet. 
Give it a little bit longer. It's, this is going to be the skid mark on the underpants of, of, of American history. Yeah, the thing is, if he, if he leaves, is Pence going to be... Like, okay, so actually, no. Pence will be better in terms of just... In... Uh, damn near always actually i just it's really unfortunate that i'm i'm now agreeing to the point where i think i would rather have pence because pence is like i said literally the fucking devil no 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 that's friggin mitt romney is it steve bannon oh no that yeah you're probably right on that one steve god bannon. damn so many people suck anyway hey nathan i'm mr meeseeks look at me what'd you care about in the last 24 hours mm. What did I care about in the last 24 hours? Oh, I cared about, um, the, the, uh, the, nope, actually, I didn't really care about that. No? Okay. No. The, the guy who, there's, like, this famous, uh, murder in, in the 60s in, in England, um, the, the, he was, a, the, the guy who, who did it was arrested, and, and he was in jail until, like, two or three days ago where he died. Cool. Good for right. him. I don't know if I cared about that enough. I don't think I cared really about anything. I think, I think I cared that it was really bright and sunny. Yeah. Yeah. Just simple things, you know. I mean, like the sun is starting to reflect in my face right now. Yeah, it's uh, you know, I, I I like the simple things. Right from the fucking mirror. The sun, food. It's about it. Did you get food today? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had a delicious sandwich. Good for you. As well as some other things throughout the day. So, Nathan, mm. you told me before the show your favorite superhero is Spider-Man, and I had nothing that I cared about, so I'm going to make you do I'm gonna, I'm gonna do trivia on you, right? I can't do trivia. This is going to be awful. Good. It means I get to hit this button a lot. You're right. You're the worst. You're well, going to make me look dumber than I already am. Well, hopefully I get to hit that one sometimes. All right. Are you ready for this? Yeah, sure. In what year did our friendly neighborhood wall crawler get published? No. Is it 1959, 1960, 61, or 62? 61. 62. Damn. That was my first guess. I hesitated. What did Peter Parker love to eat for breakfast? This is multiple choice as well. Toast, wheat cakes, eggs, or bacon? We're going to go eggs. Eggs? Yeah. Oh. Wheat cakes. Fuck, I'm really bad at this. You know, I would have guessed wheat cakes just based on it being the odd one. Sure. Like, you know, w one of these things is not like the other. I'd much rather do this about Game of Thrones, but okay, keep going. Okay, well, we can do that another time then. We all know Spidey is a hit with the ladies, but which one of these ladies was Spider-Man's very first girlfriend? Okay. Mary Jane Watson, Black no. Cat, Gwen no. Stacy, or none of the above? Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy? Yeah. Uh, no, that is incorrect. It is none of the above. His first Fuck. girlfriend was Betty Brant. Fuck Betty Brant. Betty Brant can eat it. Ah, oh, this is awful. I hate all of you. <laughs> Spider-Man fought a lot of deadly supervillains over the years, but who is the very first supervillain that Spidey-Man's fought? Spidey-Man? <laughs> Thanks. I, I, I fucking suck. I know. Craven the Hunter, Doc, Dr. Octopus, Vulture, or the Chameleon? Vulture. Vulture? It's Chameleon. Alright, buddy. Right. When Spider-Man first fought the Green Goblin, what was the Green Goblin's signature mode of transportation? The city bus, a glider, a broomstick, or a goblin mobile? Goblin mobile. A broomstick. I'm just fucking guessing at this point. We all know Peter Parker used to wear glasses, but why did Peter Parker stop wearing his glasses? Is it because he wanted to be cool? Someone broke them? He lost them? Or someone stole them? Broke them or stole them? I'm going to go with broke them. Good job, buddy. Someone did break Peter's glasses. It was Peter Parker's bully, Flash Thompson. Flash Thompson. Yep. Later became Venom. There you go. All right. When Spider-Man was a wrestler, what was the name of the champion wrestler who fought Spider-Man in the ring? Bonesaw. <laughs> Wait, no, that was one of the guesses, but it's wrong. Is it? <laughs> yeah, your options were Crusher Hogan, Bonesaw, the Pile Driver, or the Masked Marvel. 
Uh, Crusher Hogan. It was Crusher Hogan. Mm -hmm. uh, back in the day, the people of New York and J. Jonah John... What? what? J. Jonah Jameson. Thanks. Called Spider-Man a menace, which made him open season for other superheroes. So which superhero fought Spider-Man the most? Iron Man, the Human Torch, the Punisher, or Captain America? The Punisher. This is the Human Torch. Weird. Yeah. That explains why he was in the TV show. J. Jonah Jameson always hated Spider-Man. One day, J. Jonah Jameson decided to play Dr. Harley Stillwell, pay Dr. Harley Stillwell, to help him create somebody who can defeat Spider-Man. But what J. Jonah Jameson <laughs> created was a supervillain. Who was the supervillain that J. Fuck it, this is just doing this on purpose, isn't it? J. Jonah Jameson <laughs> created. Was it the Rhino, Electro, the Lizard, or the Scorpion? Uh, the lizard? No, no, not the lizard. The rhino. The rhino? Yeah. Fuck, I don't know. It's the scorpion. Oh. Make me feel like a goddamn idiot. What are the dickhead? All right, here's an easy one. What are the names of Peter Parker's parents? Fuck off, <laughs> Uncle Ben and Aunt May. <laughs> Richard and Mary, Bob and Betty, Ben and May, or Steve and Emily? Steve and Emily. I don't know. Richard and Mary. Whatever. When Peter Parker was in Berlin, another person tagged along with Peter and got killed by assassins. Who was the person that was killed in Berlin? Was it Harry Osborne, Robbie Robertson, Flash Thompson, or Ned Leeds? Uh, Robbie something. Was Ned Leeds. Whatever. How did Spider Man get the black suit? On a quiz show, on a ba on Battle World, in the shower, or from a NASA space shuttle? Uh in the shower. On Battle World. Oh. Whatever the fuck that is. It's a cool place. In Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number 3, Spider-Man was offered to join the Avengers, but by the end of the comic, Spider-Man ultimately did not join. What was the reason? The Avengers made fun of him. He was too young. The advi Those are two separate answers. The uh, Avengers gave Spider-Man a task, and he couldn't complete it, or he wanted to join the Fantastic Four. Uh, the Fantastic Four. He failed to complete a task. Whatever. Oh, oh, not it wasn't just that he failed. They gave him one he didn't. Oh, what? I'm I'm over it. Anyway, almost there, buddy. Almost there. We're getting there. We, we you've gotten one right so far. <laughs> we all know Spider-Man married Mary Jane Watson, but how many times did Peter Parker propose to Mary Jane? One, two, three, or four times. Four. Two. Spider-Man has a good family, but does Peter Parker have any siblings? Yes or no? No. Turns out he does. He has a young, long-lost sister named Teresa Parker. Hmm. That's cool. Are you just guessing the wrong answers intentionally now? No, I'm just saying answers. You're just done with this? Yeah. So See, I, If you hadn't noticed, I've been done with it after the third fucking question. <laughs> All right. Here, here's an easy one. At least it fucking better be. Uh, th oh, wait, this this is... Okay. Alright, here you go, Nathan. In the Civil War storyline, which team did Spider-Man join? Team Iron Man? Team Captain America? Both teams or neither team? Both teams. Good job, buddy. Uh, you got... Too damn many left. Alright, I'm over it. Anyway, you ready to get out of here? Yes. You want Game of Thrones trivia? Yes. Okay. Right now? Yes. I'll, I'll see if I can quickly pull one up. Game of Thrones. I'm going to suck really hard at that one, too. Watch. Yeah, you think so? It's gonna. You're going to pull up like a book one, and I'm not going to have read enough of the book or have heard enough of the fan theory, so I'm just going to guess. And then you're going to pull up the TV show one, and I'm just going to be so demoralized. Holy shit, just... we are not doing all of these. There's a hundred damn questions. Oh. What does Daenerys Targaryen catapult across Meereen's walls? Uh, it was... 
Is it multiple uh, choice? Yeah. Uh, it, 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 if you need the multiple choice, I'll give it to you. Yeah, any of that. Locked slave collars, hands, heads, or broken chains? Uh, broken chains. Good job. What title does Jorah Mormont's father hold? He is the Knights. He's the thirteenth commander of the Knights Watch. Uh, I have a Lord Commander of the Knights Watch. You want Lord, me? Lord Commander of the Knights Watch. There you go. What fuck? What does Dracaris mean? Uh, it's it's like Dragon's Fire. Okay. So, uh, okay, that is in here. What, what? Yep, you got it. Dragon Fire. What is the only thing? Tywin Lannister believes lives on family. Okay, I, I need a bit more there because I have the family name, family honor, family gold, or family glory. Family, oh, fuck, family honor, family name, family name. It, it 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 was family name, but I'd already clicked honor. Yeah. Who is sometimes referred to as Sir Piggy or Prince Porkchop? Fuck. Jamie Lannister, Samuel Tarly, Theon Greyjoy, or Jon Snow? Obviously Samuel Tarly. What word... It, uh, okay, it, the, the, this has a visual to it. What word is chanted in this scene? And it's a Daenerys, and there's a whole bunch of people holding their arms up to her. Uh, what, are, what are the multiple choice things? Mysa, Kessa, Abra, Dracarys. The K one. Uh, no, it was Mysa. M H Y S A. I, I don't. I don't remember that part. Must have been at the end of season six after she burned uh Vase Vase Dothrak down. Which Stark siblings are closest in age? Uh, uh. Okay, it's it's Bran Arya, I think. Nope, it is Rob and Jon Snow. Alright, that doesn't count. Why not? Jon Snow is not his brother. He's not? No. Okay, I I, I don't know, so I that's just what He's this says. He's his said. fucking cousin. Who is the Master of Whisperers? Uh, that's Varys. Who will... <laughs> Okay, who will kill this champion? And it's just some person on a horse with a friggin' lance. Uh, it's Gregor Clegane. Gregor Clegane. Is that the mountain? The mountain, Okay. Yeah. Uh, apparently Dario Henaris kills this person. Oh. Okay, so I was thinking, uh, I was, you, you said a, a person on a, Dario Naharis, you, you were close. You said a person on a horse, and, and in, in the, like, first couple, uh, episodes of, of Game of Thrones, um, there is a tournament, and the mountain totally kills a dude by by jousting. Oh, okay. So I was confused. Who killed? Well, and also, I mean, I can't exactly show you the picture because you have to wait for it to load in the goddamn yeah, chat. Yeah, that's not that's not good. Yeah. Who killed John Aaron? John Aaron. Aaron? That's uh, uh, Lisa. Lisa. Lisa Aaron. Yeah. Spoilers. Who is Cal Drogo about to kill? And he's standing there with his two arms outstretched with daggers in his hands. Uh, what are the options? Uh, Koholo, Rakharo, Kotho, Mago. It's Kotho or Koholo? I think it's Kotho. It's Mago. Oh, man. I'm awful. Who did Rob Stark promise to marry in exchange for troops? Uh, the Frey woman. A Frey girl. Good job. Skip that advertisement. Where does Tyrion Lannister meet Shay? Uh... What's the the multiple choice? The Eyrie, the Lannister camp, King's Landing, or a brothel in the north? Lannister camp. Congratulations. Who has not completed competed in a trial by combat? Uh, is it o o Oberyn? Oberyn died in a trial by combat. Oberyn Martell, Bronn the Hound, or Jamie Lannister? Uh, Jamie Lannister. Which of Daenerys Targaryen's three dragons are the largest? Uh, Drogon. You're much better at these. Who or what is Brienne fighting? There's not a picture here. It's a bear. Okay. 
she's the she's the maiden and the the bear and the maiden fair. Okay, who gets stabbed in the eye? <laughs> what are the four options? <laughs> Jory Castle, Sir Hugh, Virtus Egan, or Poliver? But Jory Castle. Yeah. Nice. So he is. Who has never been on the small council? Renly Baratheon, Mace Tyrell, Cersei Lannister, or Elena Tyrell? Um, the first one. Nope, Elena Tyrell. Uh, which father legitimizes his bastard son? Oberyn Martell, Ned Stark. Bruce Bolton. That's not a choice. Is it not? Oh, okay, Bruce so. Bolton. Yes. Yeah, Bruce Bolton. Bruce the Moose Bolton. What can definitely kill a White Walker? Uh, dragon glass. Yep. Valyrian steel. You are correct. What is the bastard surname in Dorne? Uh, San. Yep. All right, two more, and that'll be the 25 of these, and then we'll be yep. done. Fill in the blank. The night is dark and full of... Terrors. Good job. Who is the Mad King to Daenerys Targaryen? Who is the Mad King to Daenerys Targaryen? Yep. Uh, that's her father? Yeah, her father. Who Whose execution does Bran Stark witness? Um, uh, it's the the guy from the wall. He's the runaway. Garrett Will Glenn Waymar. I think his name was Will. All right, last question. Who teaches Arya Stark to stick him with the pointy end? That's Jon Snow. You are correct. Uh, good job. You got 20 out of 25 right. Actually, I got 21 out of 25. I just I already pressed the button. I already factored that. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here, everybody. Sorry for the random trivia. Yeah, the I'm end. much better at that one than Spider-Man, all right? Fuck off. <laughs> we'll do more later, okay? Sure. Whatever. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. If you want to support this show, if you got other stuff you want to see us do, other shows you'd like to see us do, or whatever, please let us know. Send us an email to our inbox, which is feedback.iretta at gmail.com. Call and leave us a voicemail, 508-738-2278. Or you can follow us and leave us messages or just chat with us or whatever on social media. Um, you can find the show on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at iredicast, myself at Schwan Michael, and Nathan at Bimenstein. Otherwise, if you want to help support us financially, go to patreon.com slash daily internet, and that's a good way to help us out immensely. Um, otherwise, just uh, leave us a five-star review on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you're listening to this. If you're watching the live stream, we go live Monday through Thursday at 10 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Yes, it's Specific late. Specific Daylight Time. Specific Daylight Time. All the sun has left my house, so I'm kind of dark and shadowy now. I still anyway. have a little bit of sun. You got yeah, you're you're doing pretty good. All right, everybody though. That is it. That is your two hundred and eighty eighth dose of the internet. I am Michael Schwan. And I'm Nathan Wood. And Don't get Don't get it! It! <laughs> we're never gonna time that right ever. No. no. All right. Bye everybody. Bye.